Star vs. the Forces of Evil premiered on Disney XD on March 30th, 2015. More than two years ago. The first episode was received extremely well by audiences and critics. But does it still hold up? The episode starts off by introducing Star and her quirks. It is made clear instantly that she's not your stereotypical Disney princess, and it mocks the audience with an introduction which starts off similar to the introductions of princesses such as Snow White. The show then introduces Star as the character she actually is. She's extremely wild and hard to control. It's also explained that she likes fighting monsters. Her parents pass her down a very important family item, the royal wand since it is tradition to pass it down when a princess becomes 14 years old. This wand has an extreme amount of power. When she is given the wand, it is made obvious that she's not ready to use it without consequences following. This leads to them sending her to Earth to learn how to use it, despite the danger that it brings to the planet. On Earth, we meet Marco Diaz, who is proclaimed as the Safety Kid. This episode is the only episode where he is referred to as this. He has to show Star around his school where she will spend the majority of her time. Marco is instantly weirded out by her and he runs away from her as she catches the school on fire with one of her spells. When Marco gets home, his parents reveal that his new housemate is none other than Star. As Marco shows Star her new room, they get spied on by one of Ludo's henchmen, Buff Frog. Buff Frog reports back to Ludo with the news that he has located Star in the wand. Ludo is first shown off as a terrifying silhouette, but he exposes himself as a tiny bird wearing a skull, which could be mocking the normal terrifying Disney villains. At the same time, Star is introduced to her room, which is expanded by one of her spells, with the expansion clearly not looking normal on the house. When Star tries to expand Marco's room, she accidentally creates a black hole in the middle of it, destroying everything inside his room instead. This shows just how inexperienced Star is with her magic. She also puts a raining cloud over his head. He slips out of a window, falls on some cactuses, and storms off. Marco clearly doesn't like Star at this point. Star finds Marco at a convenience store where she removes the cloud and apologizes, just to be ambushed by monsters. Ludo and his henchmen are easily defeated by Star and Marco, since Marco reveals that he can fight. When the battle is over, Star offers to find a different family to stay with, but Marco wants her to stay anyways. They hug and the episode ends. If you're watching this review and haven't watched Star vs, or only saw the first episode, you might be wondering why people are praising the show so much. There's a lot of people who just want to watch it as a comedy series, and Star vs has a lot of comedy in it. There's a different group of people who want plot, and they can find that in the show too but they have to wait for the story to take off. And the first episode can't be all plot related, or else the show loses interest of the audience. I believe that the first episode gets even better the more you watch it, as it foreshadows future events in the show and has a cameo from a character who you aren't introduced to until later into the show. This episode works extremely well as a pilot. Star and Marco play off each other very well as friends in episodes past this one, but in this episode, Marco is terrified of Star and outright hates her. They play off each other as polar opposites, which is set up very well. When it's revealed that Marco can fight, the characters weren't so different anymore. The other characters aren't developed much in this episode, but they're set up for development, which is what should be expected in a pilot. The animation in this episode and throughout the rest of season 1 is extremely bouncy and energetic. The colors are extremely bright and the visuals are extremely well done. It's a good break for the eyes from shows that all use a more standard, adventure time sort of style, like Clarence, Stephen Universe, Uncle Grandpa. <coughs> Overall, the first episode of Star vs. the Forces of Evil does an incredible job at introducing people to the life of Star and Marco. The energy in the first episode is present throughout the entirety of the show, and it only gets better as time goes on. Thanks for watching.